Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a look at the Secure SQ001 electric soldering iron. And uh, it's a tiny little unit. This is the TSC4, and that refers to the size of the tip. Uh, you can pick one of these up in the uh, link down below. I found it extremely useful. I think it's gonna be great for in the field repairs and uh, quick fixes. If you're not in front of your workbench, this could be really handy. You do get an instruction sheet, a little miniature holder with a sponge there. You wet that and then you can kind of clean your tip on that. A power cable with an XT60 on it. An instruction manual that was pretty easy to follow. Um, lots of really good detailed instructions and you can even go in and change things on a PC if necessary. You also get a hex kit and a couple of additional set screws and a sticker sheet. Here's the actual hot end or the tip of the soldering iron. It is separated from the actual unit so you can change the tips out. Here's the unit itself. You can see not very big. Uh, it's pretty amazing all the power they pack into this little tiny package. Some nice clickable buttons and an OLED screen. To assemble it, you insert the hot end into the end here and set your set screw, locking everything in place, and you're ready to go. You can see it's not very big, so you could presumably put this in your toolbox or in your uh, tactical hip bag, and you can plug this into any uh, LiPo battery from 3S to 6S. This uh, is an XT60. I'm using a Helios ADC battery here. As soon as you plug it in, it goes into sleep mode. Press A to engage. And here it is in real time, heating up to 300 degrees Celsius. It's faster than my workbench soldering station. And here I am adjusting the temperature. You just move up or down with B or A after a long press of B. And here we go, heating up back to 350. Doesn't take very long at all. And uh, if you want to put it back into sleep mode, hold both buttons and back into sleep. Of course, that tip will still be hot, so be careful. And uh, just to show you a little demo of how easy it is and how quick it is to solder with this little mini soldering iron, Heating up uh, the end of an XT60 connector here, removing some old uh, wire that I chopped off. And uh, we're gonna remove the other one here just as quickly. And uh, right back on the connector. Very simple, very easy, very efficient. And I love that it's battery powered. If you're not into batteries, of course, uh, you can buy a 12 volt, a 24 volt adapter. Uh, and then you can just plug it into the wall and look at AC power. Definitely something that I'm gonna be adding to my repertoire, it, whether I use it on the bench or whether I use it in the field, a great little addition to your uh, hobby tool collection. Do you have that one friend that's terrible at soldering? Do you think that you'll be able to help him out in the field now when his motor disconnects from his ESC? Put a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.